I was talking earlier about how I lost everything with one trade. And now today, basically, there are four questions before, and this is 30 years ago, I lost everything with one trade. And here I am, 50 years old. And now there's four questions that I ask myself before I buy any stock. And basically, this is the ultimate filtering system. And I learned these, again, over 30 years of doing this. The first question is, do I understand the business? And am I comfortable with management? What is the business worth? And what do I have to pay? Those are the four questions. Again, do I understand the business? Am I comfortable with management? What is the business worth? And then finally, what do I have to pay for the business? So do I understand the business? I'm going to take them one at a time. Do I understand the business? Again, I'm asking myself, I don't want to invest in things I don't understand. You know what I mean? It's not how big your circle of competence is. It's how well you define it. I don't have to know everything. I'm comfortable not knowing everything. I don't know Bitcoin. I don't know. I'm good at what I know. I know retail. I know consumer products. I know software. I know biotech. There's, there's a small, I certainly know subscription business. There's a small little package of oil and gas. There's a few sectors I picked up where I understand how those businesses work. And those are the areas that I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in. So I don't have to know everything and I'm okay not knowing everything. And the, the, it gives me great comfort not to think I have to know everything. You know what I mean? It's okay. You know what? Somebody else will do. I've done very well knowing just the limited amount that I know. I'm okay with that. So the first, the second one is, am I comfortable with management? I, when you get to my level of understanding of investing, basically what you're doing is you're betting on people like anything in life. And what you've learned is there are some CEOs, like I basically follow their careers. Basically there are certain people who understand how to run a business. And what I mean by that is. You get a guy, let's say a guy is running a billion dollar company and he starts, they start throwing off a million, a hundred billion a year of profit. You don't know it. Some CEOs, they get a God complex. They think they're untouchable. So they're delusional. They'll say, oh, I'm going to buy a jet. I'm going to buy this. No, I'm a shareholder. That's our money. I don't want to go into to feed your delusions. So that's actually not even as harmful as other things that some CEOs do. Some CEOs, they get crazy delusion of the brander. I'm going to buy this other company, this other, they just go on buying spree, buying poorly using that extra hundred million dollars that they're getting in a, a year in profit. So basically what happens is that hundred million in three years turns into 20 million and it's divided over twice as many people. So the original shareholders get 10 million, the new shareholders, if the merger, get another 10 million. So they destroy shareholder value. They're not thinking cogently. Whereas other managers who really know what they're doing, they're saying, you know what? We're getting a hundred million a year profit. Let's pay it all out to shareholders unless we see a better way to invest this. Truly a way that'll give us double this or whatever, a higher return on our invested capital. So basically you want to find managers who aren't delusional, who understand the shareholders own the business, pay it out to them if you can't find a better way to spend the money, period. So that's number one. Again, number one, do I understand the business? Number two, my comfortable management. Number three, what does the business work? If I can't value something, I'm not going to touch it. A Toyota Camry might be the greatest car in the world, but is it worth a million dollars? No, it's, it's worth thirty, forty thousand dollars, whatever they sell for right now. You know, the, you have to assign a value to every business. Every business has an inherent value. So I have to be able to say, if this company has a certain amount of profit over the next 10 years, a hundred million dollars in profit each year, it's growing 10, 15% a year for the next 10 years. If I own this company, privately, what would that mean for my pocket? And then I value the business. What would I pay for them today? So I have to understand what the business is worth. And then I have to decide what do I have to pay? If I, for example, see that a stock is worth 25 bucks a share, but it's trading at 60, I'm not going to pay that. If I see a stock, the business is worth 25 bucks a share, but it's trading at 13, I'm going to buy that. So basically there's a big difference and a lot of people don't really get this between what is a company, what a company is worth and what it's selling for. Very different thing. So I won't buy anything unless I can answer those four questions. Again, do I understand the business? Am I comfortable with management? What is the business worth? And finally, what do I have to pay for that business, for those shares?